I really want to test playing the guitar and the ukulele at the same time. So I'm thinking it can kind of work something like this. Not too bad, but this is really uncomfortable. So I definitely need some way to put these together a little bit better. I some cardboard, made a template, took a picture of it first because I'm going to need that for a Fusion 360. It's gonna go something like that. Hopefully just something to keep it stable for now and then I'll figure out if it needs to be different later, but I need a first version. I did a quick model in Fusion 360, printed out this guy. I didn't spend too much time on it because the goal is just to get something out as quickly as possible, test it and see if the concept even works before sinking a bunch of time into prototyping something that's questionable. I really thought that this was going to work though, and I printed it in, in TPU so that it would have a little bit of grip, hopefully, but I was wrong. So let me show you what happens with this. So without the piece, I'm able to reach both of these just fine, especially standing up, it's even easier. But as soon as I add in this piece that I really thought was gonna be so great, I thought that having these two parallel would be ideal. It looks nice that way. But now it's, for one thing, this is slippery. It's not grippy at all. So, and it also still wants to fall over actually probably even more than with nothing. <laughs> and then it's so hard to reach. It's really uncomfortable up here. So I'm very glad that I didn't spend any more time than I had to on getting this prototype done because the concept was just completely not good and not in a way I thought, just I didn't know what I wanted apparently. I thought I did. So we take this guy out and we gotta try something else. need to cut a piece of this that's the width of the ukulele and it's right about here it's pretty good The next thing I need to do is have a tie of some sort to use one of these laces. I'm gonna try the curly ones first. Oh, that's really stretchy. Okay, let me see if the other lace is stretchy. Oh, this one has a lot less stretch. Has hardly any stretch, in fact. So I think it's gonna be this one. I can probably just tie it on. I was thinking of 3D printing something. Um, I think I can just tie it on. There's my piece of rubber matting stuff. That truly is non-slip. Oops, that wasn't tightened. How about this? Okay, I'm gonna put the slip knot on this side. Perfect. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is a bad idea too, actually. All right, seems reasonable. This definitely helps to keep it from falling so I can let it go, so that's nice. I mean, I wouldn't want to move around too much. Maybe with a second tie here that would help, I don't know. Kind of a pain to hook all that up, so I'll try it without.
do need a second tie. Okay. feels so strange I can't even really see or feel where I'm at. I know it can work, I just have to find the right set of the right set of things to make it stay together better. I mean I think maybe there needs to be a proper joint here or something. I'm not sure. The takeaway or like the guidance I guess from this, which I tell myself all the time is just make sure you're not spending too much time in the thinking stage. At least for me that's the comfortable place. Where I'm thinking and planning and trying to look for all the eventual possibilities, but the problem is I can come up with all sorts of problems to solve, but they're not necessarily right ones. So by getting a quick prototype done, that minimum viable product as soon as possible, that's where you can save time in the long run, even if, you feel, even if it feels like it's incomplete at the time. You don't know where to put the time into improving until you get a little bit of feedback. So get feedback as soon as possible by testing something in the real world. That's just part of the process of anything. You need to fail as much as possible when you start out so that you can find a good solution eventually. Or not, just depends. Nothing is guaranteed. Strong feeling that eventually you'll be able to bling it up with some carbon fiber and maybe make it actually look good instead of looking like shelf liner stuck to a couple of instruments. But that's the process so far.